to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. So Rich the Kid was arrested for possession of a concealed weapon in LAX. They're saying that he was going through security at the airport. Oh, how many times have we heard this story before? This happened on Monday afternoon when a loaded firearm was discovered on his carry-on luggage. Mm. He was Come arrested. On. There's video of him, of them, like, escorting him out in handcuffs. I'm like, guys, you don't know that you have a loaded handgun in your bag? Like, I just don't, that, I never understand this. This happens way too often. The airport like, gun. Like, what? I mean, no, yeah. it's, it's, I get it, but I don't get it. I think it's what Cash was at. I said I understand, but I don't understand. What I understand do you understand? Be- well, I understand because Rich the Kid has been robbed a bunch of times, and he's always, for some reason, you know, He's just a victim all the time, so I understand his probably his idea, his thought and his need to be like, Yo, I gotta protect myself somehow." But then I don't understand forgetting it in your bag when you're going through security. Well, and so, then I, I kind of understand. Wild. I kind of understand because often artists and people who travel a lot, they just grab a bag and hit the door. And I know with rappers, you know, time management's an issue. Right. Planning ahead's an issue, so they just grab a bag with some couple of Stuff sneakers and some clean drawers, and I figure it out when I get to the city, buy some fresh, you know, whatevers, and and get my, you know what I mean? Some but fresh whatevers. My my fresh whatevers. You ever had to you travel think- and you just like I figure it out on the other side? <laughs> yeah, but you don't think we're like, hmm, wait a second, I have a gun, and um, I'm probably gonna take it with me on the road if I'm gonna go. I'm going to go through security. Maybe there's a chance they'll find it. Maybe Wait, it's not a good out. idea. Time out, Laura. Who's got a home phone ringing? <laughs> For real, man. I do. They're at, in his home. You got a landline? So yeah, I got a landline, but I, I guess, I don't know, it scared me because I've never picked it up or gotten a call. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it is. You know who it is. I don't. It's a BS it? call. It's, it's not. A, all, anybody that calls home phones is a BS call. I know what the call right. is. Here's, here's the call. This is the lease center. <laughs> your car has been blah 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 blah. Oh, Call us. Oh, your, your insurance is going to run out on your vehicle that you haven't owned since Yo, 1995. I'm, and I'm such a sucker. I see the random number and still get excited that it could be about something exciting. I'm like, oh, random call. Who could this be? Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. This is the lease center. Damn it again. <laughs> Every day. 